Hi guys, it's Hannah and today I want to show you how I pack uh, into my backpack like this one uh, for two, three or even four weeks into uh, in the tropical country. Hana banana, Hana banana. We're going to Sri Lanka. Yay! It's going to be fun. It weighs eight kilos. But there are clothes that I'm going to take with me, uh, that I'm going to wear. So it will be even lighter, this few kilos. And what I got there. I'm not going to show you everything I have. I'm going to show you just some tips and tricks. My toiletry bag. Uh, you have already seen it in the previous video, so I'm not going to tell you uh, anything more about it. Another thing is first aid kit always have it with you uh, because you never know what's going to happen or anything and it's just good to have it although don't keep there any highly important for you drugs that you uh, cannot live without so make sure that you have there only plasters or i don't know anything for your throat or um, headache or whatever not important but just keep it with you okay great towels this is the this kind of towel that dries very fast and what i like in this is they're very light and not big as you can see they're not like typical uh, towels that we have at home and they really don't uh, don't take a lot of place in your backpack they're great i have two uh, two sizes one very big and one uh, just a small one like to face and to my hands and I take this one with me to my hand luggage Because I'm leaving Poland when it's quite cold. I need to take with me long trousers but I don't want to Have 15 pairs of trousers with me the trousers that I have Are this kind of trekking trousers and you can zip out, zip out, uh, this, uh, the sleeves. So this is great because there are uh, shorts and long trousers and even, the, even you can just, you know, roll it here. So they are not very long. Shorts and long trousers in one. These are great. I will not have too many trousers in my backpack. This is a scarf. It's a very big scarf. What I like in this is that we can use it as a pareo. Do you call it pareo? For a beach. <sighs> we can just cover our shoulders or hair when we are visiting a shrine. Or we can sleep on it uh, or under it. Uh, sometimes in tropical countries they don't give you the, mm, the, the blanket or anything. And I just like to cover myself when I sleep. And that's great because this is the whole size of it in my backpack. I'm taking with me this to my hand luggage. Another thing is that I always pack my clothes into these compression bags. Compression bags are great. In this pocket we have two t-shirts, two tops and one Sri Lankan trousers and one long skirt. I always have my skirt with me when I'm going to visit a shrine because sometimes you need to cover your legs. So the scarf is to cover your shoulders and on my shorts I'm putting a skirt. So one top, that's top number two. That's one t-shirt, that's t-shirt number two. That's my Sri Lankan trousers and this is my skirt, long skirt. These are my clothes in this bag. In another compression bag I got two bikinis and four or five pairs of underwear. I don't take more with me because as I told you already I am going to wash it. Compression bags are great. Take at least two or three with you. 
What I got there is also sandals and flip-flops, those, to the beach or to take a shower. And normal, uh, normal shoes like for trekking shoes, but not the high trekking shoes, but the low one. So when I leave Poland, I feel comfortable, I don't feel cold and there's still light to, uh, to keep them with me. Polar jacket and windproof jacket. The windproof jacket is this size. It's windproof and rainproof and it's very thin. So it's very light. It's, it's not even half kilo. So this is great. I can recommend you it. Kachua. So Kachua should pay me for the advertisement now because this is the best jacket I have ever had with me. It was with me in Arctic Circle and uh, we were hiking there. It was with me in tropical countries and it was with me in uh, all around Europe. Hiking and sightseeing and everything. I love it. Kachua, this is the best what you have done to the mankind. However, I have never tried all of your products but if you want I can test some of them <laughs> don't take too expensive clothes with you from your home usually I buy stuff uh, in second hands like t-shirts or tops I buy in second hands so when I lose my luggage I will not cry a lot if you're visiting the tropical country, you will find there some great clothes. I mean, great for that weather. So don't take too much stuff with you. And you just buy something when you are there. This is cheap and this is nice and this is, you will, this is not hot. You will not be hot in this. So I, I, I encourage you to buy clothes during your travel. Another thing about packing clothes is that don't take with you clothes with, that need to be ironed. Okay, and the last thing I want to, sh to share with you is my backpack, like small backpack, but it should be called front pack. <laughs> You're such a joker. I always have two backpacks, one on my back and the other one I keep in front of me. In this backpack, in front pack, I keep all the valuable stuff I have with me and one big bottle of water and something to eat. It happened to me a few times that, for example, I was in, in a bus. I always take a public transport when I travel uh, somewhere and the bus was so crowded that the driver told me to leave my backpack near near him, somewhere in the front, and to find myself a place uh, somewhere in the back of the bus. So I couldn't see my backpack anymore. I felt that this is safe. I mean, nobody took it. It never happened that somebody took my backpack. But I felt more comfortable and safe when I had this small backpack with me. So everything, every documents, every money and uh, camera equipment and, you know, I had it here. So I recommend you to have a small backpack with you for the valuable stuff. So I just told you what, how I pack to the tropical countries. Uh, remember that I am not an extremely budget traveler and I am not a fancy, you know, fashionista or something. I just like to wear comfortable clothes. This was my backpack and this is all the 8 kilos of my backpack. So I told you everything. Hope to see you next week and remember to subscribe so you will not miss any of my videos. Ciao! Another thing that I take with me always is this huge uh how do you call it? I forgot! Hana!
how you are going to be a YouTube star when you don't know how the clothes are called. A scarf! It's a scarf! It's a scarf! Oh god! I <laughs>